Hello. Um, Monday, and I wonder if you've come across the story of Geronimo, the alpaca. Now, he's owned by Helen MacDonald in Gloucestershire, and he's six years old, I think. He came over from New Zealand where he had four skin tests to determine whether or not he had bovine tuberculosis. He didn't. He came over here and he's had two blood tests which have proven to be positive and suggest that he has got bovine tuberculosis. Um, and Helen MacDonald is standing up against DEFRA and uh, people like George Eustace, the environment minister, um, who now want to kill Geronimo. Uh, in fact, there's a march today to number 10 to protest about Geronimo. And there's uh, 97,000, is that right? 97,000 signatures um, uh, to urge the government to change its mind. Now, there's actually very good reason for the government to change its mind because the tests which it's using um, are really not that um, uh, foolproof. Although the Prime Minister defiantly says they are... Um, the they, 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 they don't give false positives. Well, they do. They're unreliable. Um, it's the Enfaplat test. But there's two other tests which are available. Uh, the SICC-T test and the polymerase chain reaction test, which I think probably is not entirely approved here. It's still undergoing tests and has been undergoing tests for about 20 years. Um, it, uh, um, it seems to me... Uh, that, um, that there's a much bigger, that there's a much bigger question, which is why, um, why is the rest of the alpaca herd not being tested by Defra if Geronimo is um, testing positive? And apparently they, they they have no interest in testing the rest of the herd, nor do they have any interest in carrying out a new test on Geronimo. Um, part of this. Part of my um, frustration about this is a frustration that I've got generally with the present government and with a number of governments um, with their obsession with the science. The science is not infallible. The science, or science in general, only claims something is correct until some better test comes along to prove it wrong. It's only a provisional answer. Um, there are no absolutes in science, and we need to be very, very clear that people understand this. Um, and uh, we, uh, the, the government is acting and has been acting throughout the uh, corona um, crisis um, with the idea that there are absolutes in science and that science is some sort of divinity. It isn't. It, it offers provisional truth, and only that. And against that, there are absolute truths. And one of those absolute truths is kindness and consideration for others. And our government has shown increasingly little of that. Uh, we only have to look at the, um, at the madness of the people who are leading most of the departments, all of which really need serious reform. I don't really care whether Pretty Patel is replaced by... Um, uh, Michael Gove. Uh, one is a Dalek, the other is a donkey. Um, you know, it's the blind leading the blind. Um, and I don't see that that's going to have a lot of, um, a, 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 a lot of, a lot of effect. Um, I am appalled uh, that Boris should have been threatening his Chancellor, um, and that this story should have leaked out. That's presumably the Chancellor's effort to make a stab at becoming Prime Minister. But nevertheless, you know, this is the sort of behaviour uh, that one would expect from small children, and it's not the sort of behaviour I expect from my government. So they need to clean up their act, and at the same time, they need to act um, like civilised people and put kindness before the science and put consideration for the electorate at the front of the queue because it's the electorate in the end that is responsible for giving them their jobs and ideally for taking them away. So do... Um, do 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 follow my channel and ring the bell it's down there i think have fun